Hi, I'm Carrie Cole. I'm a celebrity vocal coach and artist development expert, and I help artists find their voice, craft their music, and create successful music careers. I've worked with Donald Fagan from Steely Dan, Courtney Love from Hole. I've worked with the band Journey. I'm going to teach you how to be a better singer and performer. So I'm going to give you an exercise and a lesson um, for singing with good pitch. And those of you who watch American Idol, the word pitchy has become a household word. We all know what that means when a singer is singing slightly off pitch. Pitch is something that even good singers work hard to have. You can have a really good musical ear and you can have a good voice and still go slightly off pitch. You can have a voice that goes off pitch just from not being a singer and not using the voice much. The more you sing, the better your center of pitch gets. You want to think of pitch like a circle with a bullseye right in the center. And different singers actually sing and professional singers who have good pitch all have a diff slightly different center of pitch. So there are some singers that sing slightly sharp and some singers that sing slightly flat, but not enough to go outside of that circle. So it sounds like it's a really good pitch, but if you put them together singing in unison, you would even hear that. Now for you, starting to get a better sense of pitch, I, I want you to start thinking of your, your notes as circles and that you want to aim for the bullseye. The best way to really do this um, and do it well is to record yourself and listen back. The first thing in determining whether you're singing on pitch is understanding whether you're singing sharp on the sharp side or the flat side of the note. So I like to take it to the max first. Let's go in, let's sing at the center of pitch and then go outside of the pitch so that you can hear that difference. So we're going to go sharp first. So I'm going to sing ah, ah. Doesn't sound so good, right? But that is important to determine that that's a sharp note. Now here's a flat note. Here's the center. Ah sounds flat, okay? So you can't have good pitch until your ear hears the center of pitch and whether you're singing sharp or singing flat. So that's kind of the first thing. And I recommend going to the piano, playing a note and trying to hit the pitch and then go slightly sharp and then come back to the center and then go slightly flat, kind of like tuning a guitar string, how we bring it into the pitch, okay? The next thing with pitch, is using the piano or using a guy, an instrument as a guide, which is really helpful. And the third thing is to sing a cappella a lot. Um, but here's the thing with that. If you're going to sing a cappella, I'd like you to find what key the song is in and use an iPhone app or something, a piano app, to actually um, hit the note first for you so that you're in the right key if you're going to sing a cappella. And that's um, kind of a trick for singing a cappella songs in general. If you're going to go for an audition, you want to make sure that you don't come in on the wrong note or in the wrong key, and then all of a sudden you're singing way higher than you need to. You want to be in the right key. Okay, so back to pitch. So we're going to sing center of pitch. Now what a lot of you are going to do is you're going to slide into that note. You're going to go, ah. And what I want you to imagine is you're going to aim right for that center of the bullseye. Ah, ah. And you want to imagine coming to it from above, from above. Why is because the actual soft palate, which is inside the mouth, needs to lift for you to be able to hit center of pitch. And that gets a little bit technical, but you can uh, start taking voice lessons with a vocal coach to experience that more because it's, it's really exciting when you start to make those changes and be more accurate with your pitch. So we're just going to do a little scale singing on ah. 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 And again. Okay, now, pretty good so far, now we're going to go to a five-note scale. The challenge here is in the um, major scale. There is a whole note, whole note, half note, 
whole note series. Okay. So the relationship between all of those notes is not exactly the same, which is where most people tend to go off pitch. And this is a little bit more advanced, but I wanted to give it to you because I think it would be interesting for you to learn. So we're going to hear that scale again. And the fourth note is the half step. Here we go. Ah, half step. Ah, ah. Those notes are closer to each other than the first three. Let's do it again from the beginning of the scale. Ah, I think of it as a sideways note. Let's do it again. Ah, 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 ah. Mastering your whole steps and half steps have a lot to do with having good pitch.